You know her. You recognize the iconic image of this woman. You are aware of her status in the world of art as a surrealist. You've probably seen the movie about her life. You have read about the dramas and traumas of her life, a disfiguring accident in her teens, a tempestuous marriage to another artist, dozens of babies never brought to life, an impassioned alignment with communism and the Mexican Revolution, her many surgeries, and an early agonizing death. You've probably thought to yourself, wow, she created art despite all that pain. But Frida did not paint despite her pain. She painted because of her pain, through her pain, for her pain, and with her pain. Magdalena Carmen Frida Kahlo y Calderon looked objectively at her own pain and her own mangled limbs and symbolically found beauty in them, beauty that launched a body of work that is legendary. Her losses, her grief, her rage, her betrayals. Frida found meaning in her own suffering and more so allowed it to fuel her imagination and creativity. Frida's pain was not brief, nor did it dwindle over time. The injuries she sustained in adolescence would only increase and intensify her suffering and eventually take her life. But Frida did not look upon herself as a victim, a victim of a bus crash, a victim of a scarred womb, a victim of a philandering husband, a victim of limitation and disability. She accepted responsibility for her life, for her choices, for her art, even for her miscarriages and her decline in health. How does chronic pain affect people? For most, it dwindles their experiences and narrows their visual field. But for Frida Kahlo, it somehow expanded her as an artist, enhanced her as a woman, and empowered her as a revolutionary. Still, you can see the arc of her trauma and troubles in Kahlo's work. The piercing of her womb. The twisting of her spine. The degradation of her entire body withering year by year. But you also see the flowering of her mind and spirit. This is not about dismissing pain. This is not about idealizing pain. This is not about making pain pretty. Pain isn't fucking pretty. This is not glamorizing or objectifying pain. This is not capitalizing on pain. This is not glorifying pain. This is not rising above pain. Fuck those platitudes. This is partnering with pain and using it as a powerful medium as one would oil paint or watercolors, wood, canvas, or a camera. This is allowing pain to be the lens through which Frida Kahlo viewed her life and inviting pain to teach the artist to paint a new reality. Look at her pain with an unflinching eye. Look at her non-idealized beauty. Look at her dignity. Look 
at Frida's grief and her tremendous guilt over the loss of her babies. As a woman, her work was initially viewed as personal and even trivial. Funny folk art, they called it. Today, it is viewed as iconic. But really, it is neither iconic nor folk, nor is it surreal. I ask you to reframe her body of work as a revolution. Before Frida died, she said, I joyfully await the exit and I hope never to return. Of course she did. Frida Kahlo was not a surrealist. Everything on her canvases was real. She used her pain and her art, a marriage of the two, to create a portal to a new reality. She joyfully escaped our limited landscape and leapt into the world she painted. This is for those of you who suffer and still create. From all of us who love your bravery and celebrate your fight for life and art and liberty.